What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over three easy kill methods to take down the Yiga Clan hideout. We're also going to go over some secret locations inside of the hideout that contain some awesome exclusive chests that you don't want to overlook. So looking at the map, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to speak to the Gerudo Chief. Her name is Raiju and you can find her in the Gerudo Town and to the right of her you're going to see a group of soldiers. You're going to want to speak to them as well and you're going to be able to get the location of the hideout for the Yiga clan. From there you'll be able to find them very very easily. Now the quickest way to get to the hideout is to transport to the Gerudo Tower and from there I'm going to paraglide north closer towards the hideout. And so let me just go ahead and fast forward this journey and eventually you're going to see this here. You're going to see this big hole and an entire level underneath you. So go ahead and paraglide down into this location and here you're going to find the entrance of the Yiga clan and this is where everything is going to begin. So at the entrance of the hideout, you're going to see a round room with several staircases. Above the staircases, you're going to see wall hangings that you can burn with the torches that are laying around the round room if you don't have one. So pick it up, light it, and gather all of the items in the round room. Eventually, you're going to come across a wall hanging that reveals a secret passageway to the Yiga clan hideout, which is where all of the blade masters live. Now the first and easiest method to just run through the hideout is to use an upgraded stasis on the blade masters and just run right past them. You can upgrade your stasis at the Hatino Tech Lab with Pura. And so the second method for taking out the hideout is by using a one hit kill method. And to do that, you basically want to just sneak behind the blade master when he doesn't notice you. You may want to eat some sneaky food or wear some sneaky armor when doing this and you'll see the option appear for you to press Y for a sneak strike which is going to kill him in one hit. Now for the third and most destructive and powerful method of taking out the hideout quickly and instantly is by using ancient arrows. Ancient arrows are super powerful. One arrow will take a blade master out instantly and completely annihilate him. If you don't know how to get Ancient Arrows, I'm going to put a link in this video above right now. And if you click on it, you'll be able to see my video that shows you exactly how to get Ancient Arrows. So let's go ahead and continue going through the hideout so I can show you all of the locations that you want to make sure to not forget. First off, when you go up the ladder, you'll see a bunch of mighty bananas that you can collect. And don't forget to open this treasure chest to get a cool topaz stone. So after collecting all of the mighty bananas, go ahead and run down the hall again and jump onto this platform. Make sure to burn this wall hanging because there's a hidden room behind it with a bunch of gold rupees. As usual, take your ancient arrows and destroy all the blade masters in this room. All right, and there's only one Blade Master left, and he is finished. All right, so let's go ahead into the room that we discovered by burning the wall hanging, and you're gonna find two treasure chests with two gold rupees worth 600 rupees in total. So very, very cool for that. Watch out for these spikes when you go ahead and paraglide through. So then go up this ladder and make sure to collect a silver rupee up here and a stone. And finally, in the last room, make sure to break all of the jars where you can collect some arrows pull out the magnesis and you'll be able to see three treasure chests hidden underground, one containing a ruby, another containing a topaz, and finally the third chest contains another topaz. In the center of the room, there's a treasure chest here. It contains mighty bananas. 
From here, you can use the Magnesis to open a secret hidden door, and here you will find the leader of the Yiga Clan, Master Kaga. Now, this mini boss is really easy to fight. He has three phases to the way he fights. The first one, you're just going to want to hit him with an arrow when he has the boulder above his head, and then he'll move to the second phase of his fighting style. Again, the same principle will apply in this phase where when the boulder is above his head, you hit him with the arrow until it hits his head and then hit him with the sword when he's on the ground. Finally, the third phase, he will have a metal boulder above his head, which you could grab and drop onto him a few times and you will eventually defeat Master Kaga. All right, and finally we can open this chest to retrieve the Gerudo Heirloom, which is the Thunder Helm. And we can return this back to the Gerudo Chief in the Gerudo Town. And that wraps everything up for this video, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, you all rock. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. May God bless everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you soon in the next video. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.